Hello. Well, welcome back to Challenge Accepted. So all this month, I am working along with Christy's Beautiful Life 30 Days of Sketches for Challenge Accepted. And this is the sketch for today. So easy peasy lemon squeezy on this one. I only have one photo, so it'll be a block there. We got some tags, some little banner bits. So easy to come up with this one. What's not easy is the subject. So let me show you. I have this picture here. This is Mason with his little heart tongue out uh, in my front flower bed on a snowy February day. Great. I have very little snowy stuff left from the kit I put together uh, for this month. Oh, I'm using my kit for how to kill a kit with style, by the way. Um, and where I just took leftover, not just for boys, kit club kits. So I used up all the paper from this kit. And it was this great winter kit, but I do have some icy, icy looking stickers left. Great. Then I went into my cut files that I've left over and I found this one for February. Awesome. The picture's taken in February. Things are going well. I have two snowflakes left. I can definitely work them in. Now, these are giant honking brads. They're a little bit huge for me, so we'll see if that makes its way. I'm not quite sure. I did think maybe a little bit of messy mixed media, you know, where you basically just touch the stamp down, not even put it on a block, like touch, 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 might work its way in with a little bit of charcoal ink. That would be cool. All right, so now I went on to another kit. I have in my, I, I pulled three partially used kits. So I have this one and I have this super lumberjacky one, which doesn't really seem like the best idea. Although if you look really closely, there are some white uh, little pine trees in there. So this is the other kit I pulled. And guys, <laughs> I was like, the first page that I had available in it was this really beautiful Vicky boot and field nose. I'm like, that's not gonna work. And I started going through and look at this one. Look at this, which this is uh, sea to sky. I think it's a water scene, not the point. The point is that the blues are awesome sauce with this. So we've got ourselves a background. We're gonna get the cut file put on top of it with something pretty in here. I'm not quite sure what. I'm gonna use up whatever stickers I can get from this. I have little snowy mountains. I've got banner bits. We can make some of this happen. Happy snow day, let it snow. So I can get those words in there, right? I just need to find, oh, I've got a really great alpha. I also, oh, look at this cut file. But I'm using that cut file because it says February and I need to use February. So let me move that. Um, really great alpha in here called Paperwork. It's a set of thickers. It looks like I only used it a little bit. I can use this with some molding paste I have on my desk. Now this molding paste wasn't part of the kit, but it's on my desk, so that works for a stencil. Now what I have to do is see what might be pretty. Now this would be pretty in the cut file. So I pull that ink case, not I pull, I will pull that. This isn't the vibe, although gorgeous. This is beyond beautiful. Maybe I'll put that there. Kind of looking for, oh my, will these blues match with this? Let me see if my stickers will bring it around town. They will. It's bringing that in. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to back the entire cut file in one of these sets of stripes. I think that's what I'll do. I just have to pick which set. Probably these right here, keeping with the blues and keeping it like really, really icy. So I found what I can back my photo with. What's the back side on this? Oh, and I can, um, I'm sorry, I can back my cut file and I can back my photo with this as well. Now, if I wanted to bring in some of this color, I could bring in these two, but hmm. Hmm, no, I really need to stay a little bit icy. Maybe I could do these three and bring in just a little bit of this. So let me get this and I'm gonna put the rest of my papers aside. Now, if I wanted to, I could map my photo in this and keep the pinky pinks going too. All right, I just have to decide on that. Okay, let's move that. 
move what I won't use out of the way. Now I have some good photo corners and I can bring in this color. There's giant honking ones too, which would be very dramatic. And some little word stickers and all of that. So I'm gonna have those there. These are a little two dimensional for my plan. I'm gonna put those aside. Got these hilarious paper airplanes. Some more stamping. I'm gonna leave my stamping available. Now let's see what kind of goodies. There might be something fun in here, but I'm really concentrating on the snowy bit. So maybe that cute camera. So I can leave those on my desk. Okay, now in the meantime, because it's gonna take me a minute to do like the busy work that nobody needs to watch that boring stuff. I need to back my whole cut file. And we have these extra little pieces that go in here. I need to back that in a stripey bit. I think I'm gonna bring in a little bit of this extra color. I think that would be a nice idea. But I also think I'm gonna map my photo with this as well as this. So my point is I have a lot of work to do. So give me a minute, I'll come back. I'm also going to, in the meantime, I have to trim my photo. And while I look at this bit, let's see, I'll have my photo here. I wanna make sure to get some of the modeling paste mixed media bits in as well as some of the stamping. So I've got a whole mess to do. I'll be back in a minute. Quick pop on. So I did go ahead and mat my February. I have to do a little bit of cleaning up, but it's not a big deal. So what I think I'm gonna do, I definitely wanna get some modeling paste on, but I wanna get a little bit of the stamping on with a sweater stamp too. My photo is going to be here-ish. I did choose some of the stickers from my sticker sheet, Esta, to go on. And, oh, and I went ahead, I triple matted my photo. I've been putting tons of mats on photos lately. Wanting to bring in some more of this nice bright color. And I went ahead and used some of these really cute blue. Although, come to think of it, I probably should have brought in this color. Whatevs some really nice photo corners. So I'm gonna get a little bit of stamping done and then do a little bit of the modeling paste on top of it. Kinda of hard to stamp on top of the modeling paste and have it work out at all. Oh, come on, little stamp. This is why I don't pull things from the bottom because I just don't have what it takes. So I just have to rip it open and I'm much better up. Sorry about way too much crinkling. And before I pull this off and recycle it, it's from Cartabella Cabin Fever. So there we go. Not a big deal. So I'm gonna do a little bit of subtle stamping. Not gonna get too precious about it. Um, just so I have some more interest in the background. So just gonna do a little bit of inking on it. I'm not paying that much attention to where, and I'm gonna just pop it in the background a little bit. Just not in the center because I'm really not Oh, okay. Yep. Mm -hmm. Because I'm really not, uh, I'm, I'm going to have, sorry, I can't think while I'm enjoying how cute that stamping is. Because my photo will be there. So what's it matter was my point. So that is kind of my stamping. Cool. I think I need just a little bit more because I like it. There we go. Because this cut file is gonna be over it so much, but I just have a little something, something peeking through and I think it's awesome. I'm gonna go a little bit heavier because I know so much will be peeking through. And now this part is just kind of cleaning off my stamp. All right, that's it for stamping. Done with that. And I'd have to say, I liked it. Ah! I just dropped my ink pad and it fell like this, phew. I was wondering if it was gonna fall on my dog. My dog's white, that would have been kind of funny. All right, so this stuff right here, this stencil, it's gonna be snow in my situation <laughs> with what I have. All right, puppy. And I think I'm gonna have him sitting in a snowdrift. It is true. We'll just see how it kind of comes out. Once again, I do not like to play the precious game with all this stuff. I just like to get my mixed media on and see what it tells me it's gonna do. Because if I try to be the boss of it, 
Mm -mm. It always lets me know that it knows more than I do. So we've got some snow, as I'll call it. Guys, I love it. Do you, do you guys like it? So look, he's standing in the snow. He is standing in the snow. Okay, I super like that. That is awesome. Now I have to let this dry, get my hands cleaned up, and the rest, really, once you get a cut file on, the rest is just like decorative bits. It will not take any time at all to put it together. So when you see me next, this little guy is going to be sitting in a snowdrift with his stampy bits, and I'm going to have my title read February and yet more snow. So this gets to go on. That's nice and easy. My title's very, very big and yet more snow. I think um, on Re Rediscover Your Stash this month, it's letter stickers are the focus. And I just, yeah, not I just, I try not to say that phrase because it weakens it. But I really like to kind of go, oh yeah, use more alphas. Oh yeah, that's what I like those kind of challenges for. I think it's so cool. All right, like I said, I'm gonna just clean up a tiny bit. I, I can get my title put on. I just need to avoid this down here while it dries. And it's only going to take maybe five minutes to dry. No big deal. And I will see you guys in a few. You know, I have to make dinner. So I, well, it'll seem like a few to you guys, but it's going to be uh, tomorrow in real life. How fancy is that? Okay. Give me a second. Okay. So this is pretty much done. Now I just need some enamel dots or something on it, right? So I don't have any in these kits that I'm using for how to kill a kit with style. So I'm going back to the same kit club that I pulled all of these kits from. And I have these really gorgeous pearly bits. Now the off-white color, I don't really want to go off-white, but I love this light blue. So I'm going to go ahead and get some of the light blue bits on and then kind of continue it, not kind of, because I'm really, really going to continue it. I'm going to continue putting a few enamel dots on from, actually, let me get them while I'm talking to you, from the my little collection of enamel dots from the same kit. So I've got this little pile of them here. I'm going to grab that. And then, you know, I don't think I want to do mist on this or splatty bits or anything like that. It's it's, I don't know, there's something really nice and clean about it that I'm digging because it reminds me of snow. So give me a second. I'm going to get all these little bits on and I'll show you my finished project. All right, so I'm all finished up. It's really simple. I find that with cut file layouts, I tend to go a lot more simple with them. I don't know why. It's just like a cut file kind of wants to be the star of the show. So this kind of comes off on camera like a red, white, and blue, but it is definitely a really nice deep orange. He's actually a ginger, but you know what? He's just not as bright as that. So I have some pearly bits, just a little bit of enamel dots, but overall it's done. I mean, the background is so gorgeous too, but that is my layout for today. I'll have links down below for anything important. I um, mean, I haven't brought it up in this video, but I would love to have you guys join me as well for my lucky seven stash bash class. That starts on the 21st, although I'm giving a little homework a week early for that class. So I'd love to have you join me. Uh, yeah, and we're in the middle of an early bird special for 25 bucks for the whole 10 weeks. So that would be awesome. Okay, that's it for today, friends. Have a great day. Bye-bye now.